Hi everyone, it's Cheryl from My Well-Rounded Life, and today I have a Dollar Tree Attic Tag video for you. I was tagged by Beck from Beck's Corner, so when you're done watching this, why don't you go check out her channel and look at all the different videos she does. She and her husband go crazy daily on all these different top five videos, and she does hauls from every store that she goes to whether it's groceries or crafts or Dollar Tree of course she is definitely a Dollar Tree addict like a lot of us here in this community on YouTube which is why somebody created this tag just for us so go check out her channel and subscribe um, to it because she'd appreciate having you in her family all right, there are 10 questions and I'm just gonna get started here. Now I'm looking down at the questions and a couple of my answers, so don't mind me. How often do I go to the Dollar Tree? It used to be two, three times a week because I have several of them in the area and I would go visiting, but it has slowed down, I will admit it. Um, like the novelty of running all the time wore off and now I just like to wait, watch some Dollar Tree hauls, check out what everyone's getting. When the new stuff comes in, I can start compiling a list of wishes, you know, to look for. And then I get excited and I start going. So I'm going to say I go two to three times a month now. That's pretty realistic for me. I can easily go a week or two um, without going to the Dollar Tree. So, and in a way, for me, that's good. I've, I've calmed down a little bit and I'm still able to find the things that I'm looking for. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Number two, number one favorite item to purchase at the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna have to say it's the poop bags. The little packs of three or four rolls of poop bags um, that we put on our dog's leashes. They have a little um, dispenser on each of their leash and we stick that roll of poop bags in there and we've been buying them at the Dollar Tree for years. One day, my daughter had to stop there for something and she hit the mother load of um, poop bags and she bought, I think, 25, yeah, $25 worth, plus she had to buy a plastic container um, to put them all in. When, when we got home, we needed some place to put them all, so she bought the container for it. And it's, uh, it's up in our closet, our coat closet. And then I just grab a package and open it up and throw it in a kitchen drawer to keep it more handy as we need them. And that is definitely the number one thing for the Dollar Tree. Even before I started going to the Dollar Tree on a regular basis, I would always run in there for poop bags and Christmas stuff. That was the only thing I ever used the Dollar Tree for. Then I found YouTube and discovered the Dollar Tree community and that changed everything. So number one favorite item, poop bags. Number three, um, what day does my Dollar Tree get their inventory? Sadly, I know this, and my most local Dollar Tree, which is basically right around the corner, um, is on Thursdays. And out of all my Dollar Trees, that's the only one I know. I know I've asked others, when does your truck come in? Um, but I can't remember and I didn't write them down, but this one I actually wrote down. On my phone, I keep a list of all of my wishes that I want. And at the top of the wish, I have a list of all of my local store locations and only this one closest to me, I have Thursday next to it, which means that's when the truck comes. Um, and the others I just neglected to write in there, so I forgot them. So Thursday's for my closest. Number four, do you shop Dollar Tree more than Walmart or Target? I'm gonna say more than Target, but not more than Walmart, because lately I've been going grocery shopping weekly at Walmart. And Target, my daughter and I go to, we used to go to very regularly, probably two, three times a month. Um, but now we're down to lucky if we go once a month together. And without Chrissy, I usually don't bother going there unless I need something specific, a gift for someone or something. So I definitely shop the Dollar Tree more than Target, but not Walmart. Number five, what's the longest you've gone without going to the Dollar Tree? I'm probably gonna say close to a month. There have been times when the Dollar Tree was just getting boring and 
I was tired of going and looking at the same stuff and nothing new was coming out. There are times of the year when it seems to take forever for new things to come out that interest me. There may be new things every week, but if it doesn't interest me, then I'm not going to go, you know. So close to a month, maybe, maybe three weeks. That's the longest. Um, number six, do you shop at more than one Dollar Tree? Yes. I have four local ones that I go to on the regular. If I'm out and about and, you know, feel like driving from one to the other, I will. And then I have either four or five more that are between 15 and 30 minutes away. If I want to drive that far, I can go to them. And the, the two that are the furthest away are the biggest ones. And I've been there and I like them. They're, they're different. They're unique. And um, a couple across the river and one way up the river that I don't go to very often. So anyway, I have four locals that I can get to at any time that I want. Number seven, do you wear makeup from the Dollar Tree? Yes, I do. Um, I'm not that crazy about LA Colors things, but I do have the LA Color eyeshadows, uh, the three palettes that came out like this. I have all three of them. It's uh, Smoky, Rose, and Oh, what's the other one? Nude. And out of this smoky one, let me see if I can open this properly. Out of the smoky one, I use this gray and this blue one. That's it. Dropped my thingy. I don't know if I would ever use any of these other colors. And LA Colors Mascara, I just bought this today. I hauled it in a little a little haul that I did earlier. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Wear that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now it's not a Dollar Tree product, but I still got it from the Dollar Tree and I don't like it. It's like I have to put on two or three layers just to see it. So when I saw this mascara, I thought, you're going. So I'm gonna throw that away. And I already tried this, I put a little on. You probably can't tell. No, no, because I don't have a whole lot of lashes anymore and it, it takes a lot of mascara. And I just put one coat on and it did more than two coats of the Wet n Wild, which surprised me. So this one's a keeper. It's really small though. Look at that, I can't even hold it. Small, but it's great. Uh, the other makeup that I wear at from the Dollar Tree is e.l.f. I've got, uh, I think, four different colors. This one and a pink one are my favorite. Uh, this one is called mm, Scarlet Night. And then I have this eyeliner that I use once in a while. I don't put eyeliner on my top lip. Top lip. I don't put eyeliner on my top lip at all. But I do put eyeliner on the top of my lashes every once in a while. So yes, I do buy Dollar Tree makeup. I experiment with it, and if I don't like it, I don't have a problem throwing it away. I have I have purchased, opened, tried on, and throw away, thrown away many lip products, because they're just, they forget it, you know. But I do love the e.l.f. All right, that was number seven. Number eight, do you have a favorite food item from Dollar Tree? Yes, and that is the freeze-dried apples. Little bags, they have apples, peaches, and strawberries. I love the apples. I just love them. There's also, uh, some people get a, uh, a mixed fruit. I haven't found that yet in my area, but I am still looking for it. They are, the bags of apples are two Weight Watcher points. So um, they're a good snack. They keep you busy. They're crunchy and everything, but they don't really fill you. You get hungry later on. So if you're looking something to, to you know, buy yourself another couple hours before your next meal, that bag of freeze-dried apples isn't going to cut it because there's, there's no protein, you know. But if you're just looking for a little crunchy, snacky snack while you're watching TV, then that's perfect for two points. I also like the no sugar drinks like this, the LaCroix. They have these, they have other sparkling waters, they have the Propel. Um, I like the watermelon Propel uh, the most. And uh, I also love the grape, but I haven't found the grape at the Dollar Tree. Just the watermelon and berry, I think. So I like the LaCroix. It's calorie free, sweetener free, sodium free. Uh, and it's delicious. And this one is lime, so I enjoy that. 
All right, do, number nine, do you know the Dollar Tree employees by your home? No, I don't know any of them in any of the stores that I go to. It's like every time I go there, there's somebody else. I don't know if they have a big turnover. I mean, once in a while I see a familiar face, but other than exchanging pleasantries, how are you, fine, how are you, have a great day, you too. You know, that's it. I don't know anybody's name. And we don't talk. We just, you know, and that's it. Final question number 10. If you had $10 to spend at the Dollar Tree, what would you buy? Well, poop bags, for sure. I would look at the, the makeup and I would look at the, I would go to the food section and look for the drinks and those apples. If it's Christmas time, most definitely I could easily spend $10 on the Christmas stuff. The tags, the wrap, I have so much wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. It's the only wrapping paper I use year-round. Christmas, birthday, whatever. It's Dollar Tree wrapping paper. Um, the scotch tape, the bows, the big bags of bows, which my sister makes in her factory up north. Um, all that Christmas stuff. Otherwise, any other time of the year, any kind of stationery. I love to look at the pens and the tablets. I have more tablets. I could open a school for all the stationery I have in this house. I don't know if I'm ever going to use. And then, of course, the party supplies. Um, whenever we're going to have a party, a Christmas party or a birthday, it's always great to go there first and get whatever you can for your party. Hey, be nice. Be nice, baby. Be nice. Um, and including the balloons. And then go somewhere else like Party Silly. Party Silly. Party City to fill in the things that you're, um, that you're missing. So, anyway, uh, that is my Dollar Tree addict tag and I'm gonna tag one person and her name is Cassie from good vibes only in good vibes only SC for South Carolina so Cassie if you're watching this feel free to go ahead and do this fun Dollar Tree tag because girl I know you go to the Dollar Tree a lot more than me don't you mm-hmm so everybody I hope you enjoyed the tag and give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the little bell to notify you whenever I upload another video. And uh, until I see you again, be blessed.